hello friends welcome back to online master we are going to be solving this question right here on the board okay so what we have is x minus 5 power 3 it's equal to minus 8 so we want to find out the value of x that is actually going to satisfy this problem okay so let's just proceed what i'm going to do is i'll move this minus 8 to the uh, left hand side so that i'm going to be having x minus 5 and of course power 3 plus 8 is equal to 0 so kind of uh, adding 8 to both sides okay and so the next thing i want to do is actually to rewrite this 8 and if i do that i'm going to write this 8 as 2 power 3 this is still equal to 0. so you can see that this is now in the form of a power 3 plus b power 3 so where this is the sum of two cubes and if you can remember this can actually be expanded as a plus b uh, multiplied by a squared minus a b and then plus b squared okay so i'm going to be using this expansion to actually expand this where in this case our a is equal to the whole of this x minus 5 and then our b is equal to 5 so if i expand this i'm going to be having s minus 5 and then of course plus b which is 2 okay and then multiply by x minus 5 squared minus a times that is x minus 5 multiply by b which is 2 okay and then of course plus b squared which is 2 raised to power 2 so let me put this in block bracket okay so if i expand this side this is x minus 3 this is x minus 3 so if i open this bracket right i'm going to be having x squared okay and then 2 times x times minus 5 and that's going to give us a minus 2 minus 10 x okay and then x minus 5 multiplied by e7 that will be plus 25 okay and then if i open this is to, to open this bracket i'm going to be having minus 2x and then uh, plus 10 okay plus uh, 2 squared is equal to 4. okay so the next thing i want to do and don't forget this is equal to zero and of course this is still equal to zero so i can also simplify the whole of this here this is x minus 3 okay and then this is x squared so we add this minus 10 x minus 2 x will give us minus 12 x okay and then uh, 25 plus 10 plus 4 will be equal to uh, 39 okay and of course this is still equal to zero so you can see the power of these two terms here is equal to zero so if we apply the zero product rule you're gonna be seeing that this whole thing implies that x minus three and that is first bracket is equal to zero or the second bracket here x squared minus 2fx plus 39 it's equal to zero so i'm going to solve these two cases and then we'll find out the values of x that is actually going to satisfy the problem we are solving so let's take this one so the first case that is x minus three equal to zero this is actually going to imply that x is equal to three and this is going to be the first solution to the equation and then the second case here which is x squared minus 12x plus 39 is equal to zero so i'm just going to utilize the formula method of solving a quadratic equation to solve this where in this case our x is actually going to be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and then divided by 2 times a okay so and of course, in this case, we just want to find out all of those parameters. A is actually the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. B is the coefficient of x, which is minus 12, okay, minus 12. And then C is the constant there, which is equal to 39. So we just go ahead to replace it in this expression for x, okay, and that's going to be equal to minus minus 12 okay plus or minus 
the square root okay the square root of minus 12 raised to power 2 minus 4 times a is 1 and then times 39 okay and then divided by 2 times 1 and then of course this is going to be given us minus times minus here this is 4 to 12 and of course plus or minus the square root of minus 12 squared is 144 and then minus 4 times 1 times 39 will be 156 okay divided by 2 and of course moving on this is 12 plus or minus uh, the square root of 144 minus 156 will be minus 12 and then divided by 2 and this will be equal to so 12 plus or minus i can actually split this negative 12 here as negative 1 multiplied by 12 okay divided by 2 so that if i split this i'm going to be having 12 plus or minus root minus 1 and then multiply by root 12 okay all divided by 2 and then this will be equal to uh, 12 plus or minus root negative 1 is equal to i and then multiply by root 12 okay divided by 2 and then of course root 12 there uh, is equal to now if we if we expand root 12 we can actually write root 12 as root 4 times 3 okay and of course we can split the square root for these two numbers right there so which will be equal to root 4 multiplied by root 3 and uh, root 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by root 3 and that's it's actually going to be giving us 2 root 3 okay so instead of writing this root 12 i am going to replace it with 2 root 3 okay so that what i'm going to be having here is equal to 12 plus or minus i multiplied by 2 root 3 okay so i can just write it as 2 i root 3 divided by 2 so I can factor out to right here and then i'm going to be having to divide 12 that will be 6 plus or minus i root 3 all divided by 2 these two can actually cancel this okay and then obviously you can see that what i have there is 6 plus or minus i root 3 and this is going to be the two the remaining two values of x that will satisfy the problem we are solving okay now, if I want to write out all the values of x, which we've got x, the first one we got is this, x equal to 3, and then the second one, let me name this x1, x2 will be equal to 6 plus i root 3, and then x3, and that's the third value of x, will now be equal to 6 minus i root 3. Okay, so let me have your thoughts in the comment section if you've understood what we've stopped. And make sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and then of course i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye